hello guys so welcome back to our class again in this particular class we are going to be bringing a preparatory section for you for those of you writing GCE YAC examination and we are going to be using a sound experiment question to present to you this alternative to practical approach to solving and to making an A1 in physics of course you know that your practicals carry a whole lot of marks and will give you a very good opportunity to make an A1 in your GCE examination. Now, in this particular question, you can see the diagram here. They ask us to um, deduce the length and the mass from the diagram that is given to us. So we'll simply measure using the scale that is provided and then convert to record the mass and the length as given in the diagram following the procedure that is given now once that is done we will now answer the questions that follow first of all we are to read and record the mass m of course the mass is in kg in kilogram so we record in kilogram we also measure the raw length that is given to us from the diagram and then use the scale to convert then once we do that, we evaluate the tension and the square root of the tension. In each case, we take G to be equal to 10 meter per second square. Note that in this particular question, you were not given the formula for calculating tension. So you must have to know the formula to use to deduce the tension in the question. Recall that from our previous classes, we have mentioned that tension is equal to 2 pi square root of the length divided by the acceleration due to gravity g so now that you have deduced your length and you, you are asked to use g you can always deduce your tension and once you do that you now find the square root as it is required once you've gotten that you now can tabulate your readings and then we are asked to plot a graph of square root of the tension on the vertical axis and the length on the horizontal axis. Once we've deduced that, then we can determine the slope of the graph, state two precautions as usual, and then from the graph, we determine the value of f, the frequency. Remember, it's a sonometer. We are using tuning fork if we were to do this experiment in the laboratory. So they said we should deduce the value of f if the length, the frequency, and the, the tension are related by the equation that is given above. And then finally, we are to explain the term resonance. So this is, these are the questions that we are required to answer. So from the drawing that is given to us, we have compiled our table. You don't need to do anything. You're not, comp you're not conducting this experiment in the laboratory. So all you need to do is to read off the values from the drawing or the diagram that has been given to you, except for the ones that you need to deduce, like the tension. So you can see our table here that the values has been re read off from the diagram that has been given to us, both the mass and the length. The tension and the square root of the tension were all deduced and calculated. So once this is done, we can now proceed to plot the graph. Recall that we were asked to plot a graph of the square root of t against l. And you can see here from our graph that it is a straight line that makes an intercept with the vertical axis. And once that is done, we can we can deduce our slope, finding the change in the square root of t against the square root of l, and our answer is approximately 0 0.9 newton per meters. It is newton per meters because when we were measuring the length, we converted to meters. The scale given to us is in meters, so we use meters. But if in your exam they give you in cm, you're free to use cm. So now this is. Um, the value that we have. So what are the precautions that we took in this experiment or you will take if we were to conduct this experiment in the laboratory? Number one, we would have to avoid the parallax error and reading the rotationometer. Of course, you know, to measure the length, you would use a meter rule. So in reading that, you would 
now avoid parallax error number two you will ensure that the mask was firmly fixed on the wire sometimes one of the major challenges we have is that if the mask is not firmly fixed it will be falling off and that will be distorting your experiment so you have to make sure they clamp the mask firmly in order that you it will not be distorted during the experiment and then when you are striking the tuning fork you strike it on very gently um, in, that is assuming that you are doing or conducting this experiment in the laboratory so after this now we are asked to deduce the frequency from the graph if the square root of t is equal to fl all over 15.1 we need to rearrange this a little because um, we know that our slope is square root of t over l so if we rearrange it such that we have square root of t over l equal to f over 15.1 then we can use the value of our slope, which is the reason why they asked us to deduce this from the graph. So now we can now substitute directly our slope being 0 0.9 is equal to f over 15.1. And then all we would have to do is just to cross multiply, making f the subject formula, which is equal to 0 0.9 times 15.1. And that will give us 13.59 hertz. So this is our value for f. So the, the, the value of the frequency that we used is 13.59 hertz and then finally we're asked to explain the term resonance so resonance is simply a phenomenon in which an external force or vibrating system forces another system around it to vibrate with greater amplitude at a specific frequency of operation of course there are so many ways you can also explain this because the external periodic force must have to coincide with that system in order that the amplitude will be greater. So you can define it the way you want, you will be correct, I believe. So these are some of the questions that they ask in this particular experiment. And uh, we have taken our time to, uh, to make a brief um, a solution out of it and then to show you how that you can be able to answer some of the questions that you are going to encounter when you are answering your question during your exam. So with this, I believe that it will bring up um, a help, um, um, a guide for you to succeed in your examination. We wish you all the best. There are other videos, alternative to practicals that we have in our YouTube channel. Please do well to cross-check them, go through them in preparation for your GCE. And we know that you are going to succeed in it. Congratulations in advance. Thank you very much for sticking with us. We sincerely appreciate. God bless you.